Find insight, guidance, and answers. answers. Tune into Spirit with radio medium Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Laura Lee tuning in to Spirit for my special listener, Sophia, who emailed her very important question about a spirit that torments her. She wrote, it's been a little over three months and no matter what I've done, the spirit will not go away. Wakes me up in the middle of the night, keeps me awake. It started by mimicking four to five voices, including Archangel Raphael, who helped me with my son to Archangel Gabriel that helped me write five chapters of a book. When I figured it out, the tormenting started. It would be nice for a while, and then the tormenting begins all over again. Kept It keeps me awake, putting pressure on my chest and throat, like a game to see how much I could take. Boundaries trying to be set do not matter with this spirit. I have a severely disabled child who does not sleep much, cannot take much more. Yes, I have asked Archangel Michael and my spiritual team for help. I've developed Claire audience late last year, and it just showed up. Maybe this is some sort of soul lesson, but I can't take it much longer. How long is this spirit going to torment me? I'm sorry to hear about your personal experience, Sophia. And I'm sorry to say that the torment will continue as long as you stand to put up with it. I'm going to suggest ways to take back your power by becoming proactive in the following ways. First, if the voices are invoking physical pain and or torture, then I would suggest you speak, if not see, a professional physician and or counselor as soon as possible. Angels would not harm you or bring forth pain or suggest verbally that you harm yourself or harm others. If you felt any inkling to contact a doctor or medical assistance, you're on the right track. Follow your instincts to reclaim your health right away. Given everything that's happening in our world right now, we're all under enormous amounts of pressure and compound that feeling with being a mother, no less than caring for a disabled child, I can't imagine. The fear can invoke more hardship, and especially if we empower it with more attention. Some sensitive souls take on more than others, and this can crush their spirits, a.k.a. yourself and or your son. One way to overcome fear is to redirect our focus and put your attention on your health. It's the number one priority for you and your family members during this period of time. Without your well-being, you can't function in any other areas in your life, and you won't be able to support your child. If you've ever flown on an airplane, the stewardess will always tell you to take the air cup first in a crisis before you can help anyone else. And that's what's happening to you right now. And this is what's happening to the world. You come first. You got to take necessary precautions to be of use of anyone else around you. I'm going to suggest a couple other things. And that is number two, focus on your life force with the following essentials. Concentrate on getting your proper exercise to boost the endorphins that help relieve stress and pain right now. Eat nutritious foods that energize your body and your mind. Also get the proper amount of rest to re-energize your spirit. And regular exercise, proper diet, all support healthy sleep patterns. Minimize or eliminate any recreational drugs or alcohol to support your cognitive functioning at this time. All these things come first to be a better person and a better parent, as I know personally. I can't even imagine having a disabled child on top of it. So it's not to say that we are 100% perfect all the time, but given the current situation, do your best each and every day for peak mental, physical, and spiritual health. And I would ask, are you doing any of this? Then finally, my last suggestion is to ask for support and you shall receive it. And as a spiritualist dealing with spirits my whole life, I can say that they'll leave your space upon asking them to leave. Sometimes it requires more than asking nicely. At times you'll have to shout it out to get their attention. And if this isn't the case, as you express, there is no relief in sight after asking them to leave, then it is something more profound than say a spirit and will require more medical intervention immediately. Asking for help has put you in touch with me and maybe some other healers. Take care of yourself. Seek medical assistance. Then get the help to get well. 
There is no separation from spirit, mind, and body, meaning traditional therapies work right hand in hand with alternative therapies such as what I'm suggesting. It all comes from divine inspiration. I'm going to suggest one last thing, and that is I do offer a teleseminar where you can learn more about contacting your angel for divine guidance. You can learn more information by going to my website, radiomediumlaurelee.com, where the next seminar is posted. I look forward to hearing back from you, Sophia, and I hope that helps. And if you have a question you'd like to have answered, please go to radiomediumlauralee.com and submit it under email reading. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe, follow, and share the show on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter.